Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, TV. Well, hi. Any friend of TV's is a friend of mine. This, this is my brand new letterbox. <laughs> That's right. It's a beauty, isn't it? Nope, it's a letterbox, all right. See? It's already full of letters. Ah. And T just happens to be one of my favorite letters. I've got a whole attic full of things that start with T. I do. Look around. Oh, there's a lot more than that. Keep looking. Here's something that's two T words in one. A taxi? <laughs> hey, do you know what this is? Guess what? <laughs> I even know a song about the letter T. <laughs> T can stand for tambourine, tambourine. This one's green. T can stand for lots of things in the attic. Let's see. can stand for lots of things in the attic. T can stand for telephone, like the one in your home. T can stand for lots of things in the attic. T can stand for tennis ball that you bounce off the wall. T can stand for lots of things in the attic. T can stand for Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's too long, but what the heck? T can stand for lots of things in the attic. Telephone, Tyrannosaurus Rex. T can stand for lots of things in the attic. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, if you like that, I know a song about things that start with the letter Z. You want to hear it? Oh, well, what would you like to do? Uh, play a game? I know. <laughs> you want to help me clean the attic? Of course, I'd never get rid of my cartoon machine. <laughs> you bet. How about the Berenstain Bears? All set. Are you ready? This way to bear country. You'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain Bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama, Papa, sister, brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, sister, and me. Snuggest bugs in a split level tree. Here are more Berenstain Bears. Factual, factual. Big Bob Bear. Professor Out. Oh, uh who's -huh. Tea Honey Bugger? I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show.
Follow me, everybody. I'll get us out of here faster than a bobolink can blink. Just look at them. Rush, rush, rush. That's the trouble with the world today. Oh, I forgot something. Papa, would you go to the magazine rack and see if they have the new issue of Tree Housekeeping? Can't it wait till next time? I'm afraid it might sell out. There's an article I don't want to miss, how to keep sap from dripping on your rugs. Okay, I'll be right back. Yummy gummies! Can we get some? Can we, Mama? Can we? I don't know. You've been getting an awful lot of treats lately. Please. And I want some new jacks, too. Stop it, both of you. I'll get you some yummy gummies this time, but you'll have to save them for after dinner. How about my jacks? You already have more jacks than you'll ever need. But these are purple. I don't have any purple ones. Ooh, now here's something. Million dollar ideas in your own backyard. Oh, this is it! At last! A blueprint for my fortune! Yeah, easy money! Give me that big money! That big, big money! Nearly as good as wild honey! That big money! Big, big money! It's no secret that I'm divulging, that I like to have my pockets bulging! Big money! Big, big money. <laughs> Boy, big money. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Papa, I don't think you should bombard the cubs with all that money talk. Now, don't fret, dear. I'm just giving them the benefit of my expertise so they can learn to handle their own finances wisely. Well, it certainly looks like they're catching on quickly. Papa? When will you learn that magazines like that offer nothing but impractical schemes? Whoa! <clears throat> These aren't impractical schemes, Mama. Listen to this. Turn lead into gold. The forgotten secrets of alchemy. Think of it. Lead into gold. Now, how can you call that impractical? Hmm. And here's another one. Raise ladybugs for fun and big profits. What about gentlemen bugs? Maybe they're not profitable. Yeah, and they're probably not much fun either. <laughs> I'm telling you, this magazine's gonna put us on easy street. Here, how about this? Buried treasure in your own backyard. That's it! That's the one! Now, hold on! Nobody's digging up my yard to look for some silly treasure that doesn't even exist. But, Mama... No use arguing, Papa. I've worked too hard to make my garden what it is. I'm not letting anybody ruin it. Look, Papa! Pirate's Cove! <laughs> what are you landlubbers doing around here? Well, I got this little problem. Maybe you can help me, mateys. I am a pirate who goofed around in school. Ah, now that I'm grown up, I feel like such a fool. Me secret map from Captain Kidd tells just where the treasure's hid. There's lots of gold to feed me greed, but I'm still broke because I can't read. I am a pirate who has a lot to lose. Won't you please help me to figure out the clues? That's good, because uh, I got these gold balloons to hide with the rest of me treasure. Uh, you promise not to tell anyone? Arr, okay then, 
here she be. And, uh, oops, I thought I'd left him. Ah, I think I left me treasure map back on me pirate ship. Wait here, mateys, whilst I go fetch it. Uh, <laughs> you want to hear a song about the letter Z? Uh, you promised to help me when I get back. Uh, okay then. Here be the Berenstain Bears. Papa, Pirate's Cove. Yeah, that's the little cove just off Great Grizzly Lake. Just like in the book you read to us at bedtime, Grizzly Island. By Robert Bruin Stevenson. Kept him up for weeks. Yeah! A vast ye swab! Shiver me timbers, it's Captain Cub! I'll see you walk the plank, land lover! What on earth does all that gibberish mean? It's just pirate talk from Grizzly Island! Pirate's Cove. Hmm. Just as I suspected. There's no doubt about it. Mama, Cubs, come here, quick! It's right in here. All the proof we need. Proof of what, Papa? Riches beyond any bear's wildest imagination are within our grasp. Ooh. Wow! Double wow! See? It says that Long John Grizzly, one of the greatest pirates of all time, in fact, a shoe in for the Pirates Hall of Fame, buried his fabulous treasure in Pirate's Cove. Oh, boy! Buried treasure! Listen, Cubs, money alone isn't the measure of real wealth. Anyway, I don't think any treasure is buried in Pirate's Cove. Of course there is. The proof is right here in black and white. Papa, if we find the treasure, can we keep it? You're darn tootin' we can. It comes under one of the fundamental laws of bear country government. And I quote, finders keepers, losers weepers. We're gonna be rich! Let's go dig up our gold! Okay, mates, follow me to Pirate's Cove! Don't tell me you've already found your treasure. Well, not yet. We've been temporarily derailed by one small problem. We don't know where to dig. But there's nothing to worry about, Cubs. I, Papa Q Bear, will find that treasure, even if it takes digging up every square inch of Pirate's Cove. Yes, sir, me proud cubs. This time, your papa is really going to ring the bell. It's the telephone. Hello, Bear's residence. Hello, dear. I just baked a batch of my special honey nut cookies. If you're going to be home, I'll bring some over. How nice, Grizzly Gran. We all love your honey nut cookies. Oh, and Gran, would you bring your crystal ball, the small portable one? Papa is determined to dig for pirates' treasures, but he doesn't know where to dig. Of course. See you in a wink. We'll get it. How are my two favorite grand cubs today? Just fine, Grizzly Grand. And when we find our buried treasure, we'll be even finer. Oh, <laughs> I always say, there's nothing like finding a buried treasure to make a body feel finer. It won't be long now. I can almost taste those doubloons. Hush, Papa. You're disturbing Gran's concentration. Oh, listen, Papa Bear, and you shall hear great, great wealth is very near. <laughs> hey, I can't tell a T from a Z, remember? Just tell me where me treasure's buried. Start here, got it. How many? I don't count so good, neither. Five steps, got it. Huh? What's a turtle rock?
<laughs> We're getting close. I can feel it. Right here? Neato. <laughs> I mean, arr! All I got to do now is dig down into the sand and pull up me treasure chest. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Guess I'll have to go back to me pirate ship and get me pirate shovel. <laughs> Wait here for me, will ye? Well, I guess I do owe you a favor since you helped me read me treasure map. Sure, I'll play your cartoon for you. Did you hear that? Great wealth is very near. Yes, but you still don't know where to dig. Oh, yeah. Grand was just coming to that. Weren't you, Grand? No, I've said my piece. Now I must be on my way. Next time you see us, we're going to be rich. Well, as they say, wealth is where you find it. Yeah, and not just rich, we're going to be filthy rich. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I remember seeing an old map once somewhere in our attic. Old map? Yes, it's been in the family for years. It's not in here either. How about you cubs? Find anything yet? That's funny. Where'd they go? Papa! Papa! We found it! We found the map! The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. The answer to our dreams. The key to success. Our passport to happiness. A magic carpet to fly us into the lap of luxury. Papa, it's just a map. But, Mama, you don't understand. It's the map. An unmistakable guide to buried treasure. Come on, Papa. Let's get going. Right, mateys. Let's go. Follow your Captain Papa. No use rushing out there now. According to the map, we'll need moon shadows to find the treasure. In that case, we'd better wait until tonight. Pirates go! Maybe it's not such a good idea to go down there. Nonsense, little buccaneers. There's nothing to fear. Your papa, Captain Q-Bear, the scourge of the seven seas, is here. So hoist the spirit of the Jolly Roger and think positive. Think gold. It says to dig the spot which is 13 paces from the tip of the crooked tree's moon shadow. There it is! The crooked tree! Only 13 more steps to fame and fortune. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Eleven, twelve, thirteen. But Papa, the water. Yeah, don't worry, Cubs. Water doesn't stop Papa Q Bear. The map doesn't say to take giant steps, Papa. Now this is where we should dig. Give me that big money. That big, big money. Nearly as good as wild honey. Get ready to feast your eyes on the greatest treasure on Earth. What's this? These are just pictures of us. Where's the treasure? You're looking at it. You mean you hid the map and buried this treasure to teach us what real treasure is? Now it's time for me to give you my real reading. You can compare the treasure beneath the ground or sea with the not-so-buried treasure of home and family. You know, we didn't find gold, but we sure are rich.
Introducing Anthony. No soul and sees all. I can see into the future. I can read your mind. The amazing Anthony will now prove it. Pick a number between one and ten. It wasn't a guess. Pick another number. It's amazing, isn't it? Only in the interest of time. What is it you would like to know? Nobody stole it. The amazing Anthony traded his crystal ball for this more durable model. Because the crystal ball kept breaking when I took it bowling. <laughs> Get it? The crystal ball kept breaking. Can you imagine bowling with a crystal ball? <laughs> that cracks me up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you're right, gang. This was too tight. Hey, did one of you tighten my turban when I wasn't looking? <laughs> what costume? Oh, this whole thing. I've had this for years. Tough part was finding the shoes to go with it. Well, it's not all mine, really. I had to borrow the bowling ball from my neighbor. only in movies and cartoons, TV. But sometimes you might get a premonition about something. Right. Like maybe you're thinking about somebody. Well, like maybe your grandfather. And all of a sudden he shows up at your house or calls you on the phone. Hello. Grandpapa? Oh. <clears throat> Hi, Bernie. <laughs> oh, no problem. Uh, I'll get that over to you right away. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh, no, it was my neighbor. He wants his bowling ball back. It's league night. <laughs> you bet. It's always nice to hear from your relatives. Oh, well, I'd... Better take this bowling ball over to Bernie's. He'll probably tell the other guys, and they'll make fun of me for calling Bernie Grandpapa. Good idea. Wouldn't want to wear these puppies out in public. <laughs> Pretty silly. Oh. oh. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Uh, 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 Thanks. I like being silly sometimes. I tell you what, I'll fire up the cartoon machine so you can watch something else while I'm over at Bernie's. It's empty. I'll have to reload so we can watch next time you stop by to visit. You are coming back, aren't you? Good.
because the time we spend together is the most fun I ever have. Thanks. Well, so long. Bye-bye.